I do have a question. Do you guys have any comment on the airport question or what's happening with our Paulding Airport? Yeah, I did. I'm all for it. Uh, I talked to some people today and told them uh, somebody called me. I uh, talked about Delta Airlines and I said Delta needs to go away and leave us alone. They, uh, they need to realize what we did done to them over the last two recessions as far as tax breaks, giving them breaks on fuel, uh, helping them out, keeping them afloat when they were belly up. And I said they need to go away and shut up. That's what I told them. Uh, now, I, they doubt, I doubt if they'll take my word and do that, but uh, I have a, I've had one email about the airport out here from a lady last week, and I was so upset when I got it. I thought, well, I better wait. So I called her on Monday and had a good conversation with her. And uh, they've been up here a year. We were from Florida up here. My husband lost a job down there, and they bought a house out pretty close to the airport. She was upset about it, what they were talking about doing. And I said, where's your husband working? She said, we have to drive to Darisville every day. I said, well, that's great. He drives 17 miles farther than I do. And I said, you know, why does he have to drive up there? Well, there's no jobs in Paulding County yet. I said, that's my very point right there. <laughs> I said, I've been here since 1958. We've been a bedroom community for Cobb and Atlanta for 50-something years, and I'm sick of it. I said, I got, I got grandkids who did graduate from high school, all of them go to college and come back here and find a good job. But do you, did you, I'm sorry, I missed that. Did you say you lived in Paulding? No, you lived in Paulding. No, no, I work in Carter's. Working first. I've been in Paul County since 19. Gotcha. I started third grade here down at Dallas Elementary School. Gotcha. Sorry. We were talking about the airport. So I'm all for it. Can I ask a question about that? Yeah. What, how do you respond to the people that are not happy about it? Like the ones that are going to be in the flight line and the ones that are going to lose their, their quiet, their peace and quiet. It's not, they, they, they're talking about maybe two flights a week. It's yeah. not going to be like, a, you know, it's not going to be like the air show we had out there two weeks ago. That's loud. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I had, I had a lady lived out there. I, I talked to this, this one other lady, and she was at a different meeting, but she said, and I said, ma'am, let me, let me give you a heads up. There's probably going to be an air, air show out there about the first of October of every year, and you might want to take a trip out of town or go to Atlanta so that you don't hear the jets flying do, over. Do you have a suggestion, though, for those that are out there? I mean, what, what do you say to people that are sitting at the end of the runway and they're not interested? Well, I hate it, but, you know, we, we can't keep building houses. And, you know, I, I told the lady that I talked to, I said, let me ask you about your taxes. I said, you're going up. Yeah, they're going up every year. Your property, if you own property in Paulding County, you can't get a tax break on your home until you're 65. You get a half of, half of, the, uh, half of it off on school taxes at 65. The other half goes away at 70. Cobb County, theirs goes away at 62. I've had people talking to me four years now in the legislature wanting to know, why don't y'all lower hours like Cobb County? I said, well, sweet thing, this ain't Cobb County. I've told someone to move here from Cobb County. You know, if you liked it so well, the road that brought you here will take you back. Uh, you know, we're not half the tax base in Baldwin County. I was on the school board 13 years before I got in the legislature. We passed our first... Uh, East lost, I think, about 95 whenever they opened them up. Nope. All right, anyway, it took us a, a, it took us over five years back then to raise $25 million on a penny sales tax. If I'm not mistaken, Cobb County was raising about 80 something million dollars a year. Well, their, their population base is quite a bit. Well, they yeah. industry they got down there. Yeah, they've got a lot more population, but they've got industry that. Uh, but they're there. also on an interstate, and we're not. That's exactly right. That's what hinders us. Water. Interstate, sewer, right. all those things have hindered us down the years, but we built houses. We've been able to build houses everywhere. But shouldn't we have that infrastructure in place before we try to put in a major airport? No, well, it's not, I, I not going to be a major airport. It's I'm, not a major airport. It's not going to be a second. If you're region. increasing the way that, that Mr. Swafford announced that you would be increasing, you start off at two, but then it increases from there. Well, if it goes to four, I'd be happy with that. <laughs> because you're not sitting at the end of the runway. Well, hold on.